All right, so real quick on the front end of this Materia Medica video, I thought I'd just throw a quick herbal on here for you. And this is an infusion of jewelweed. So I've came over here to an area where I have lots of jewelweed and I have filled this jar up, stuffed it as tight as I could get it with masticated or macerated jewelweed, which I've just tore up and shoved down in the jar and then filled it with water. Now I'm gonna leave it sitting in the sun for a couple, three hours today to infuse that herb into the water. And that's going to make an anti-inflammatory liquid that I'm going to strain off into a spray bottle for my wife who got a whole bunch of bites this weekend out here in the woods at a basic class. And they're itching her pretty bad. They're all small seed tick bites. And she's on some antibiotics for it right now, but she's still got a lot of itch. So we're going to use this anti-inflammatory and antihistamine spray to help alleviate some of that itch for her this evening. Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And the plant we're going to discuss this morning in our Materia Medica series is the black cohosh. We're not going to dig the plant up today, although the root is what you would really want to use on this plant. But the fact that it's considered an over-harvested plant in the U.S., I don't want to dig it up because, again, I don't need it right now. And there are probably 10 or 15 of them right here in this bottom area. So to tell you geographically or where they would grow or the type of environment, we're in a dense, wet, hardwood area of my property. We're in a low area between two ridge lines. There is a stream not very far from here. So they're on low, moist ground. Some of them are growing in the shade. Some of them are growing more in the sun. I think dappled sunlight would be what you would consider an area to look for this plant. Now, black cohosh is a very important plant as far as feminine health goes. So if you are a woman or you have your girlfriend with you or your daughter or something like that and you are in an emergency scenario, and again, remember, that's what we're talking about here is what can we harvest and use immediately for the short term we're not talking about clinicals and long term and all those types of things we're talking about grab it and go black cohosh is considered a very good plant for pms for the symptoms of pms and for things like cramps heavy bleeding and things that bother women during their cycle the black cohosh root made into a decoction and drank as a tea is very good to help alleviate those symptoms so I want to show you what that black cohosh looks like, but I don't want to harvest it again because it's considered a plant that's over harvested. This is the only area I know of that it grows really prevalently on my property. And it's an area about a half an acre where there's quite a few plants in a low bottom area. So I'm not going to harvest it right now because I'm conserving this resource for later use on my homestead. But this plant can very easily be used on the fly if you find it as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys an up-close look at this plant as best I can. And there's several of these out here. And I'll try to stay out of the view of the camera, not putting shadows on it. It's got a fairly long leaf as it gets to be a larger plant, but it's forked and it's jagged. And there's one on the end and then two and then two behind that. And it branches off and the same thing, you got one, two and two, this one's just split in half. One, two, and then there's only one on this side. Now, down toward the bottom of this, it gets to be more tree-like, and it has a central stem. I'm gonna show you that because that's an important thing to look at when you're identifying this plant. So let's get over the separates here. We've got a stick in here, we're gonna have to get out of the way. Okay, so now, what you can see is you've got a central trunk if you will and it's got three branches coming off of it here where it's split that is very typical of this cohosh plant very typical for it to look like that so if you're trying to identify cohosh look for that central trunk almost like a small tree and then the branches coming away from it like that out of the center splitting out now here's a look at another one that's kind of in a more open area for you to see and you can see again it's got that central trunk right here and it splits off into three 
separate limbs, if you will, that come out from that with the same tooth leaf pattern of one and then two. Okay, folks, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me today for this quick, short video on black cohosh. Again, the reason we're not going to harvest and prepare something with this plant is A, I'm not a woman, so I don't need this plant, but B, the fact of the matter is this plant is over harvested greatly within the U.S. and I want to replenish and grow the resource that I have so I'm not going to harvest it unless I absolutely need it. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. For all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.